Hey, it is your weird creative makeup artist friend Cat Sketch to bring you another chit chat get ready with me type video today talking about some amazing people while doing my makeup today. So subscribe if you want to see more videos not only about beauty makeups but body paintings, effects videos. We talk about creepy interesting stories so hit the notification bell to subscribe for some more. Now, you've read the title of this video correctly. I am going to be talking about today the most heartwarming people, influencers, YouTubers alike on the internet. People that just make your soul spark, make you feel part of a community, and they just seem like they could never have a bad bone in their body. I feel like social media and YouTube especially highlights those people that are problematic, that are a part of cancel culture, and I want to talk today about the people that just seem like not only have great personalities, but they almost seem like they're uncancelable because you never know someone off the internet if you see them on the internet online because we only see so many minutes of their entire life. But these people just seem like how could they be bad people in real life? You know what I mean? And the very first person I thought of or that inspired me to make this video is Kells right on TikTok. Kells is someone who just brightens up your spirit. Now, I'm not really a huge person on review channels or anything like that, but there's something about Kells' voice, the way he talks to you as a friend and an individual. He reviews other people's cooking on TikTok. He makes me laugh. There's just something about him that's truly magical. He's so uplifting too, and you could tell he doesn't try to knock everyone down. Like I'm saying, a lot of review type channels bring out a lot of negativity, but you could tell that Kells has a good heart and tries not to be super mean or negative. Even if he is being a little negative, he's never mean. I'm a foodie, and I could tell Kells is a foodie too, and he doesn't like tomatoes. I would love to hang out with him and like go try delicious foods make sure there's no tomatoes in it, and just chat. He always makes me laugh. I'm talking about TikTokers and people already like I know them. Now this next person is a YouTuber who's actually canceled. So people might think I'm crazy for saying this person is probably a genuine person's soul is what this video is about. And she practically canceled herself before she thought others would cancel her. I hope she's happy because she's still one of my favorite YouTubers and I don't think she has a mean bone in her body, is Jenna Marbles. I just feel like her love for wanting to make people laugh, her love for animals, her relationship, what I've seen online, she just seems like such a beautiful woman inside and out. You know when you see people and you feel like, oh, they definitely talk behind people's backs? Jenna Marbles just seems like one of those people that doesn't do that, as drastic as that sounds. And I know you can't really judge a book by its cover by meeting them a couple times, but I have met Jenna Marbles a few times and they were always delightful moments. Even before she got super duper popular, I saw her at a bar at VidCon and no one was like hanging out with her, talking to her, and I just wanted to tell her how much I love her content. I've been a big fan for a long time and there's just something about her. I just feel like, again, I wish she would come back, but I also want her mental state and just her to be happy. And if the internet doesn't, being on the internet doesn't make her happy, so be it. Another person who I've met a few times, absolutely love is Garrett Watts. Garrett Watts is one of those people who is someone you will never forget. He stands out in a room because he's so like his own vintage, authentic self. He's way over six feet tall, so he stands out. He has like these beautiful glasses and a great face shape. He reminds me of like a cartoon character. I think this one from, is it Atlantis? He reminds me of Garrett all the time. And I think and hope that Garrett would appreciate that reference. He would like reach out to me randomly and he probably doesn't even remember this and like give me the most amazing ideas and concepts for my art without me asking or talking or fishing for any compliments or anything 
he would go out of his way to make me and my boyfriend feel like just happy in like a social setting in LA. I can't explain to you how freaking adorable and genuine Garrett Watts is in person. He's exactly what you would expect, even more so. You could tell he's not there to make connections. If you listen to his podcast, you'll fall in love with him as much as I do because that's how he is in real life. It's amazing. Garrett has this childlike sense of goodness to him that's still like, not like innocence, but joy of life that you just become addicted to being around. I really hope the best for him so that he could become as successful as he wants to be because you need successful people who won't change for the worst. And I feel like Garrett Watts could be one of those people Another person who has transitioned from YouTube to reality fame, like I'm talking about not reality TV, but on television, who I absolutely think is a peach in real life and I don't know, is Rosanna Pancino. I feel like Rosanna Pancino is just as a sweetheart as you imagine as she is on her videos. There's something about her that's just so like sweet as like the thing she bakes. Like truly, honestly, if you hear another YouTuber talking bad about Rosanna Pancino, I wouldn't trust it. <laughs> I would question it beyond belief because how? She's been on YouTube forever and has stayed out of drama. And I think it's because she's drama free. Like she almost seems like a Shirley Temple of YouTube, like America's sweetheart. You know what I'm saying? She's so open about her struggles too with family passing away, her surgeries and puppies, just like, how can you knock Rosanna Pancino? You can't. I feel like me, well, I'm gluten-free, so she might not want to hang out with me, but I would show her some gluten-free recipes I could eat. That's boring, because I can't even have gluten-free rice flour. Another hidden gem on YouTube, and especially Instagram, Twitter, just everywhere, who has her own business that I've bought and talked about here on this channel before, bought from, is Glam Goth. Oh my goodness, this woman is a literal glamorous goth queen goddess that roams this earth. Her vlogs are everything, like, just her talking about her products, it's not her like overselling you, it's just her pure joy for what she loves to do. Her videos are underrated. Like she's like that goth best friend that you just want to hang out with, see what she buys. Her voice is so like beautiful, kind of sensual, and you just want to see her daily life. It's so addicting. I can't explain it. She just seems like a sweet, genuine person. She's just here to like slay, make amazing products, and inspire so many people. Definitely check out Glam Goth's YouTube channel because again, totally underrated. She should be in the millions of subscribers, like way up there influencers. Her pictures are literal golden gems. She's drop dead gorgeous. It's like jaw dropping ridiculous how beautiful Glam Goth is. Now I remember why I don't use this purple because purple is so freaking hard to not only remove but blend on your eyes but purple's like one of my favorite type of eyeshadow tones to use on people. Another gorgeous, highly, highly underrated influencer who I found on Instagram, and she has one of my all-time favorite YouTube channels, her and Glam Gloth channels, I just flip through those two 24 seven, is Mick Drew. She is so freaking cute as a button. I absolutely love her like Sheen hauls and my absolute favorite videos of hers. This isn't even overselling her, there's a lot more about her, but she does a day in a life, like a real day in life of what us influencer makeup artists go through. Her makeup looks are out of this freaking world. She goes between like a body painting, like fantasy makeup on her face to a beautiful glam look and I can't explain to you how incredible her skull makeups are. She's highly underrated. I'm not really sure how many followers she has, but I know that she deserves more because I don't hear enough about her. She's super nice and just seems like a genuine human. 
and she goes through all so much of her time to not only make content of makeups but videos she goes through the, she's one of those people who like shows you what camera she uses what editing software she uses and like breaks it down in detail which is so rare to find nowadays someone who's like acts like a genuine friend you watch online who's willing to like really help people just love her it's insane how much talent is in this girl I'm pretty sure she was on the NYX Face Awards. It's just gorgeous human inside and out. Speaking of gorgeous people inside and out, it will be a cold day in hell when someone tries to cancel Miss Raw Beauty Christie. This woman is like such an incredible, not only role model, but you could just tell if you've ever met Christy or had the privilege of meeting Christy in real life, there's something, a spark about her. She has a certain tone to her voice. When you listen to her, you're like, something, there's something about this woman that is intoxicating to listen to. She's like so down to earth, not only that, but she's so vulnerable on camera to where it's a point you love it and can relate to it so much. I hope I'm explaining her correctly because she has changed the YouTube game. She's her authentic self. She doesn't have to raise her voice real high and say, hi guys, hey, hello, watch, subscribe, do this, blah, blah. Doesn't have to frill herself up to become a big powerhouse on the internet. like. If I ever have a daughter, if she want to go online and watch beauty gurus and makeup videos, mom, what's when I should watch? Robbie Kirsty is going to be one of the few top of my list to show her because it isn't about altering your authentic self with her. It is about being yourself and having a true joy, not only with makeup, with life. I sound like I'm a, the biggest stan. I am speaking of stans. This next person has just blown up for good reason recently. Another one who would be on my list of amazing makeup artists. This is gonna be makeup artist heavy because duh, you know, I'm a makeup artist, if you didn't know. Michaela Nogueira, I hope I'm saying her last name right. I'm probably butchering it, she's on TikTok. She recently has a collab with Glam Light Beauty. She's killing it in the game. There's something about her the, that's so unique, but at the same time, she's being her authentic self. She talks about her battle with eating disorders, which I could totally relate to. You could tell she loves what she does. She's one of those people who like literally dropped everything to do what she loves, and it shows that she loves what she's doing, and it's not a front. I absolutely love her, and a lot of people do for good reason. The, her accent and the way she talks, the way she explains product and how everyday people could use it. She's just so fun and entertaining to listen to. I can't even think of more on why I would love her and why you should watch her. Speaking of TikTok, I have to talk about Miss Tabitha Brown. I think she was one of the first people I ever followed on TikTok. I hope Tabitha wouldn't mind me saying this, but she is like the mother figure I wish I had growing up. She's not only so inspiring, I'm not even vegan and she's known to be a vegan vlog, like TikTok person. She has so many inspirational moments with her audience to like guide them and support them through life. And the way she talks about food and how she's healed her body with food and her life story and journey is not only so inspiring, but you could really tell that there is not I would be so surprised if there was a bad bone in this woman's body. Like, her voice is so calming. Her voice is like a warm cup of tea right before bed or milk while someone is singing you a bedtime story. Not just reading a bedtime story, but singing it to you. Her voice is smooth as butter. She, her story is so inspiring. I absolutely just fell in love with Tabitha. I actually think I, yeah, I saw her on TikTok and YouTube at the same time. I'm like, who is this woman? She just blew up. She's amazing. I mixed two blushes today. I'm absolutely loving these heart blushes. I think this is from a Valentine's Day collab with 
ColourPop. This is Kiss and Tell, this is my type. Mixing these two, gorgeous. Oh my gosh, there is this country woman named Shoe Lover 99 She is the sweetest soul. She calls her fans her little tater tots, I think. Oh my gosh, I love this woman. She seems like someone who I've known for my entire life. She seems like an aunt who is married into my family who I will never forget and I may not see all the time, but every interaction I have with this woman is gold. Like Shoe Lover 99 on TikTok, she stitches people's videos who's going through a hard time just to like be that shoulder to lean on if like they came out to their parents and their parents didn't take it well. She herself has a very hard story and past of not being accepted or loved. So I just absolutely love her. And I love how she's like, oh, are you gonna sit down and have lunch with me today? And she's like at work on her lunch break making videos. And she has an amazing sense of style. I would love to go shopping with her. She just seems like a genuine person, uncancelable. Another YouTuber who goes under the radar way too often. She has her own clothing line. She can sing. She's a dog lover and a dog mom is Nicole Concilio. I feel like there's not a bad bone or bad thing I hear about Nicole Concilio. And she's been around the influencer game for a while. I had a chance to meet her and I was way too nervous to even go up to her. Her voice, accent, amazing. You know when people say they're empath? Nicole's Concilio, I feel like is an empath. You just have green highlighter on. Don't clock it till you try it. Nicole Concilio is cute as a button. She's so tiny and just so cute. There doesn't look to be a flaw on her, but people point out her flaws and she discusses them in a real honest way. Like I would like to go traveling on a road trip in the mountains and I don't know if she'll teach me to ski cause I don't know if I can ski, but she's just so cute. And I feel like she will never get canceled. I'd be very surprised. Have y'all heard of the makeup artist Kimberly Margarita? I think that's how you say the last name. Also been on the Next Face Awards. Talks about her endometriosis. Is just very open about her struggles with life. And she has the cutest pets ever. She's an amazing, phenomenal makeup artist. I think I discovered her in 2015. She blew up for good reason. Her artwork is fantastic. She just seems like such a quiet, decent human as well. The way she lays out her YouTube videos too is so helpful. I just can't find a bad bone about her. Another YouTuber I have to talk about is Emmy Maid. Oh my goodness, the cutest. She reviews food on YouTube. She is so humble and like calm. Her voice and spirit just calms you down when you watch her. I can't explain any more about Emmy Made, but Patrick Blue on Instagram. I'm telling you, one of the influencers I wanna meet, such a sweetheart, his work is phenomenal. When you think he is amazing, his next look will push it out of the waters. You could definitely see that he tries so incredibly hard to push his talent and skill and keeps on practicing. And I just hope the best for him because he's so talented. And he just seems like such a sweet person. His Instagram stories, I love when he goes around town and shows like his life because I feel like you're almost there with, with him. And it's almost like a living my, like a day in my life type vlog in his Instagram stories right there. I just absolutely love Patrick Blue on Instagram. You should definitely follow him and all these other people that I've been talking about. I'll put their links down below. I'm gonna put on some gloss, maybe some glitter and definitely some lashes and I will be back. And just like that, we have finished this look. I hope you guys enjoyed all of the influencers, YouTubers, TikTok people who I think are uncancelable because they just seem like genuine people. I don't know what it is about them, but I don't know them, but they seem like the nicest. I haven't done a cut crease, I feel like in ages. My lips look a little black and blue, but I like it. Leave a comment down below on what other influencer or YouTuber, whoever you think is uncancelable or you would be surprised if they are canceled because they just seem so genuine and nice. Also, you can follow me on TikTok because I have a brow routine, how I do my brows on there and just 
more content to come. This was so much fun to do. All the products that I use in this video will be listed down below in the description box as always. You can subscribe for more videos like this. We do two videos a week, every Monday and Friday here on this channel. Also for everyone asking where this eye necklace is from, it's from my friend Kim's Curios on Etsy. She has a shop there, so you could definitely shop her things. Her jewelry is fantastic, whimsical, wonderful, one of a kind, unique, amazing. I'll put her link down below as well. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.